Let's take a look at how to set up Stream Elements Facebook Alerts OBS in under 10 minutes. The first thing you're going to need to do is sign into Stream Elements with your Facebook account. Next, under Alerts and Overlays, select Themes Gallery. Then access the Alerts tab. Now note, you can set up from scratch underneath My Overlays, but it's a lot more time consuming. Preferably for me, I like to make it as easy as possible. We'll just get a template and we'll just go ahead and customize that. So select the template, it doesn't matter which one. Click Create, then Create New Overlay. Now name your overlay, then click Create New Overlay again. Don't worry about copying the link yet, we'll get to that later. Click See Theme in My Overlays. Now click Edit on the new theme. Then click Alert Box 1 to access the settings. Activate all the alerts you want to use. Keep in mind, you'll need to customize each alert, otherwise it'll just go to that default setting for the template. To customize the alert, select the cog icon. Let's start with the image. Select Change Image or Set Video. Drag and drop any images or video you want to use. We got our alerts done by Fiverr and covered it in a full video, link is inside the description. For videos, if you're cash strapped, you can always grab free images and videos at pixabay.com or you can get some GIFs for videos over at giphy.com. Then click submit on the image or video you wish to use. Now click upload sound. This will be what you'll hear when the alert goes off. We got our sounds from freesounds.org. Now set the layout to how you wish, either with text inlay, right align text, or bottom align text. Change the alert message if you wish. For us, we'll just keep it as it is. Now you can play around with the other settings, but we only need to worry about text settings. So click text settings. You can pick the font, customize the color, choose the font size, and pretty much anything you can think of here. Next, select the Advanced tab at the top. The next part will take a little bit of trial and error to get the text in the right spot. Click the Emulate bell, then select the alert you wish to see. Adjust the positioning until it fits in the alert box image. Tick the box for Preview Live on Stream for when you have the alerts box installed in OBS. Once you're set, you can click Text Settings to go back to the main menu. Adjust whatever you like here, then click Save in the top right hand corner. Don't forget to hit Save. Now click the link icon in the top right to copy the alerts link. Open up OBS now. Under Sources, click the plus button. Then click Browser and name it Alerts. Then hit OK. Now highlight the URL box and paste your alerts link by pressing Control V. Do not skip this part. Change the size from 800 by 600 to 1920 by 1080. You can't skip this. Go back to Stream Elements dashboard, access the Emulate menu, then hit your alert to test it. Click and drag your alert where you wish. You can also resize it if you wish by clicking and dragging the outside of the alert box. And that's just about it, folks. If you need to get some customized overlays or any type of alerts done for you, heck, we did that before. We had a full video on it where we had numerous services on Fiverr do it for us. It's actually oversight this video here. And if you've already seen that and you're not interested in it, YouTube says you go take a look at this one. We will see you in either one.